Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into crucial topics in statistic. The Bruch Pagan test. This test is super useful when you are working with regression models and want to check for something called heteroscedasticity. So what exactly is the Bruch Pagan test? It is a statistical test that checks for heteroscedasticity in a regression model. Heteroscedasticity is when the variance of the residual or the errors in your model is not constant across all levels of the independent variables. If your residual have varying spread like this scatter plot here, it indicates heteroscedasticity. Why does this matter? Well, heteroscedasticity can mess with the efficiency of your estimators, making your results less reliable. The Bruch Pagan test help us detect these issues. It tests whether the residual variance is dependent on the values of the independent variables. Technically, the test uses the residual of your regression model to create a new regression where the squared residuals are the dependent variable and the original independent variables are the predictors. If this new regression shows that the independent variables have a significant effect on the squared residuals, then we have evidence of heteroscedasticity. Now let's put this into a research context. Imagine we are studying the relationship between the number of study hours and exam scores among students. But we suspect that the variance of exam scores might change with different study hours. This is the data set for Bruch Pagan test. Let's build research questions and hypotheses according to this data set. This is our research questions for our data set. Is there heteroscedasticity in the relationship between study hours and exam scores? Let's build hypothesis according to our research question. Null hypothesis. There is no heteroscedasticity in the relationship between study hours and exam scores. In other words, the residual variance is constant. Alternative hypothesis. There is heteroscedasticity in the relationship between study hours and exam score. This means the residual variance changes with study hours. This is our data set for analysis and exam score is dependent variable and study hours is independent variable. Now let's do the analysis. Go to analyze and click regression then click linear. Then put our dependent variable that is exam score into dependent box and put study score into independent box. If you have more than one independent variables, put that all independent variables into this box. Now click plot and put uh, z-pred that mean uh, our predictors into x box and put z resid that is residual into y box and click continue and click ok so this is our output results and if your scatter plot have some kind of pattern then you can say your data don't have heteroscedasticity if your data don't have some kind of pattern then you can say your data have heteroscedasticity. By looking at this example, we cannot say our data have heteroscedasticity or not. Now, if you have faced this kind of situation, you have to do, you have to perform bruch pecan test to clarify heteroscedasticity is there or not. Now, let's perform bruch pecan test. Go to analyze. Click General Linear Model and click Univariate. So this is Univariate box and put our dependent variable that is exam scores into dependent variable box and put our study hours into fixed factor box and click uh, Options and tick Bruch Pagan Test so in here our significant level is 0.05 that is okay 
So then click continue and click OK. So we got our results like this. Let's interpret the results. So this is our output results. According to our output results, our p-value is 0 0.258. p-value 0 0.258 is greater than the common significant level of 0 0.05. This means that there is no sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. So you fail to reject the null hypothesis. This indicates that there is no significant evidence of heteroscedasticity in our model. The variance of the residual does not change significantly with the independent variable that is study hours. Therefore, the assumption of homoscedasticity, that is constant variance of residual, hold for your regression model. In summary, your test suggests that the relationship between study hours and exam scores does not exhibit heteroscedasticity, meaning that the variance of the residual remains relatively constant across different levels of study hours.